What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Rex Fizers, or also known as Rex Spinner, coming out with another awesome video. It's been a while, but I'm finally back, and I'm so happy to sit down and play some games um, and actually record a video too. I've been playing a little bit off and on. Um, I've been working, doing random stuff, but let's just jump straight in the video. Um, right, right off the bat, I just want to say we are playing Seven Days to Die. It finally came out on console. I'm so happy, and I've been playing it for. A while I enjoy it my friends we enjoy it and this is our uh, base um, and I'm gonna show you uh, what me and my friends did to this base uh, so if you guys do like this video please click that like button subscribe to you here and comment down below if you have any questions of this base or anything about me um, like I said comment down below that uh, so let's just jump straight into it so if you guys don't know seven days to die seven days to die is survival game a survival game that you have to kill zombies and you gotta find guns and you gotta create guns matter of fact I have a lot of weapons I'm just me carrying I have a pistol with some ammo I have a hunting rifle I do have um, some iron axes I have an axe um, I have an, a, a hammer I have a bow um, I have a crossbow I have a whole bunch of weapons in this game and I also have a whole bunch of tools like my hammer and like I went through all the other things that is to build this base and construct something to weaken the zombies um, for an example uh, so this is the outside of the base um, the outer uh, side of this my base uh, consists of first of all uh, three rows of wood spikes um, and then we have a trench only in the front um, with cone spikes and then we have another row of um, wood spikes and that consists of going the whole way around um, just three it, it kind of breaks into three the whole way around so we're, we're pretty good when we get um, big lobs of zombies coming honestly the spikes destroy the zombies um, especially the cone spikes if they fall in there good luck getting out um, and yeah, another thing is um, this wall. Um, this wall I created um, on day 20. If you guys can't see, I'm on day uh, 37. I created this wall um, because it, it helps a lot. Um, the spikes do an awesome job, and I never ever had a problem with the spikes. Um, but this wall, it, it kind of closes it off from, you know seeing the other side of the land and if there's zombies attacking us we won't see them and it's hard to break this like honestly breaking it with a fist hold on let's get close is one it's gonna take close yeah it's gonna take 1500 hits and with the zombie that's never gonna work um so yeah and then we have another row of spikes in the inside just in case just in case i doubt a zombie's ever gonna break through this but you never know um, so I, I kind of want to see uh, what all we can do in the future. This is just part one of this video because we have a lot more to add. I'll show you some things that I'm working on now, which you'll see um, different that's coming in the future. But uh, this door right here is upgraded a lot. Recently, we actually just made a forged steel. We made a forge, make forged steel, which is a great thing. And this thing will take forever to break. Let, let's just see how much it's going to take to break. It takes 2,500 to break. So, like I said, no zombies ever probably going to get through that. Good luck. Um, if a zombie even tries, it's going to take a long, long time. Um, so, we kind of enter. I showed you the spikes. We actually, um, it looks like dirt and all that. It's because we are hoeing this ground, trying to plant stuff. And it didn't work that much. Um, but it's really really nice um, place uh, to build it another thing before we go actually and how I built this house and how I came up with it I want to um, tell you guys why I chose the place uh, where I wanted to build the space the reason why I wanted to build this place is four reasons one well, actually five there's a grassland here so that's one so it, it's kind of split off to three divisions you got the desert you got the grasslands and then you got Asheville this is what I call Asheville all it is is burnt you know it looks like a bomb just went off burnt area um, that's pretty much and all it has is rocks and cobblestone and all that it's it's pretty much ugly um, 
so that those are the three reasons because there's different three different areas um, another reason is we're right by water it doesn't take long to get to water that's the fourth reason and the fifth reason is I built it is because the city is not far away the city is only right here it's huge um, and what I love about the city is we only explored this much of the city only the outskirts um, right here looks kind of like a U only on the outside we didn't actually search in here we went around there because we had to get to the bank that's right there in different places around here and we still have all this to search um, on this side which I'm really looking forward to searching so that's kind of the reason why I built it where I wanted to because it's right kind of in between I also um, didn't want to build it in the desert or in Nashville is because um, they don't really have a lot of trees or stuff and it, it kind of looks dead in the desert in, uh, in Asheville. So I kind of built it in grasslands. Make it nice. There's animals running around. So we do kill animals a lot in this game. So let's kind of move on to um, the construction of the base. The construction of the house actually, not the base, the house, um, is a small level uh, down below with a huge level on top. And then you'll see something on the roof that uh, I'm looking forward to building and uh, putting my time into right now another thing is if you can't tell um, uh, the stairs are a little messed up it's because freaking they won't let me dig this one oh wait it does they won't let me dig uh, that one area of dirt um, which is so weird see it says 0 out of 200 it won't let me break it so that's why that's kind of hiding it so no one knows um, another thing I want to add before we go any farther is we are building an underground um, uh, safe kind of area place and wood got down here um, I'll tell you guys later on how that wood got here but uh, underground escape area so there's a, actually a hatch right there um, we're gonna dig this out a lot farther uh, this is actually cool so yes I do live um, under coal which is awesome because that's how I built all that cobblestone wall um, like I said I prefer you guys to build a cobblestone wall instead of a wood wall I gotta say that right now. Never ever have a wood wall surrounding your house. Um, it's not that good to be honest. Um, I'd rather you guys have a cobblestone wall. It's a lot harder to build um, if you don't have live near a coal or anything. Um, not coal, clay, sorry. If you don't live near clay. Um, unlike my house, I live right under clay, which is awesome. I love living under clay. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to build this as like kind of escape route. If we get hordes of zombies coming in and we can't help ourselves um, and they come in the house, we have a way where we can jump out, go down, you know, go up the ladder and at least try to escape by going back around throughout the door. Um, so yeah, so uh, this is all reinforced um, right here. The only reason why we only did three really, really, really good reinforced is because zombies can't even hit that high. So we're not even worried about a zombie hitting that high. Um, but we are going to reinforce the back. We got both three sides, front and left and right side. Um, there's an airdrop. That's cool. Um, and then we have another set of doors. We have three sets of doors uh, for extra security. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Lots of security so we're inside that little kind of um outside kind of part or inside kind of part you know, outside whatever and you look up and it's it's beautiful it's mag magnificent um this this level is actually really for nothing because we have a ladder right here that comes up to our um kind of house pretty much um i i did this just you know just because i wanted to i got bored one day and was like you know what let's let's do something uh, when I say one day, I mean that in one day in the game, not in real, real, real life. Jeez, English today. Um, and then we have uh, the kitchen. Um, so I started this building this house on day five. And I got the bottom floor and the top floor done on like day probably eight. And on day nine, before I did anything inside of um, the the house like putting chest down or anything i actually built these cabinets i have ocd guys i love you know organizing stuff and everything if you can't see by now 
um, with those nightstands and the chest and uh, especially the counters and how these are angled how everything's angled in here um, I love it that's the first thing I did I I love having a kitchen even though there's nothing in that it just gives a kind of sense of homing and also um, kind of texture to it uh, so yeah I just actually recently put these support beams in um, I'll show you what I'm building on the roof um, and honestly what I'm building on the roof made my uh, uh, house collapse only the top roof collapsed down there and that's why we saw wood down in uh, that escape area or uh, I guess you can call the basement um, area that's why you found wood because the the whole roof just collapsed down it didn't break a lot which um, I I'm thankful and all that uh, so yeah so we got my bed um, my beds right here we got my friend repos you guys know him and Dustin actually is in this world too uh, but he recently died and um, didn't have enough time to put another bed down we have three nightstands uh, just extra chest um, and then we have uh, our special chest all organized in certain ways I call this the medical slash food um, it has a whole bunch of food and stuff in here which um, is awesome and then we have I call it random there's random stuff that we might need um, and then we have a little bit more important things and uh, repair kits and uh, different things there Ooh, like and then moving on to uh, the guns this is called the gun chest because there's a whole bunch of guns um, accessories down below and there are some weapons here um, and we do make bullets but we don't have enough gunpowder actually we have none gunpowder at the moment and then also we have different kinds of um, weapons we use in clothing there's a zombie outside uh, I call this uh, the blocks slash wood slash cobblestone because it has a whole bunch of blocks wood stuff kinda anything wood or cobblestone accessories here then we have a forge and two um, uh, campfires if you guys can't hear there's a whole bunch of zombies dying outside from uh, those spikes and then we're, as we move to uh, the top floor um, you're probably like what is this uh, right here um, this is actually gonna be a guard tower I'm gonna expand it outwards so we can see above um, all around us it's it's actually pretty beautiful um, it's nice with the wall too let's see where those zombies are at. see like those zombies are dying the walk in holy crap there's a lot of zombies actually um, but then again we're on day 37 so we're kind of used to it so they'll all die from the spikes and uh, I'll have to go down and repair them, which is pretty easy. But moving back to what I was talking about, I am building a um, uh, a guard tower on top so we can see all around. Whoa. Fell off. All around the house so we can spot where the zombies are coming from, which is pretty nice. Um, recently, we actually just built that. Uh, just actually built that. Um, it's a mobile spotlight, which is pretty cool if you can't see. Let me turn off my helmet or my mining helmet. It's actually uh, lighting up everything in front. We're trying to make one there. Um, we already have one there, actually. We're trying to make another one uh, right here. Then we're going to put one on each corner of uh, the sides, which is pretty nice. So we know um, and see where the zombies are coming from, which you guys will see in part two. This will be done. In part two, this will be done if I uh, fully want to make it. Um, and create it so pretty much that's that's really it so if you guys really did enjoy this awesome base tour please click that like button subscribe if you're new here comment down below if you have any questions my links will be in the description like I said and I hope to see you guys in future keep on rexing and peace